the new European Super League proposals have caused a stir in the world of football. Several high-profile people, including La Liga president Javier Tebas, continue to vehemently oppose the tournament, which was first brought about in 2021. Real Madrid remain one of the driving forces behind the project, behind sports management company A22 have taken over control. Along with Barcelona and Juventus, the trio were determined to keep plans alive despite the first proposal seeing nine of the twelve participants withdraw. Tony Cruz may well not have the opportunity to play in the ESL, should the plans come to fruition, and the Real Madrid veteran expects it to be approved this time around. He admitted that he is looking forward to the competition, as per relievo. I think we will see this Super League. I'm very excited. Also, I'm pretty sure that a lot of clubs that back down initially will also be much more open to this, because I'm sure this also has great advantages. The new proposals would see 60 to 80 teams involved, rather than the 12 from 2021's initial idea. Real Madrid are likely to play a big part in European football going forward, and especially if the Super League happens. The major news coming out of Spain this week has centered on El Caso Negreira, and it is no surprise that managers across the country are being asked for their opinions on it as they prepare for their weekend fixtures. Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti was top of the list. The Italian manager was asked twice about El Caso Negreira his opinion on the matter, both times shutting it down by replying that he would not comment on it. However he did respond when he was asked how it affected the image of La Liga on the whole, as something he has lived through in Italy too, with Calcio Poli. That people doubt the competition is not a good thing. Sport is something that always has to be clean and we have to fight for the game to be clean. Villarreal manager Kike Setien would say that unfortunately in this game, there have always been and will always be many people who have never kicked a ball, who will profit from this sport. We all know where there is money, there is always pollution. The case looks as if it will run on for some time yet, with details being leaked out on a daily basis so far. As Ancelotti points out, it is not good for La Liga's image. With investigations and any resulting trials likely to run on for years, it seems likely the bad smell seems likely to hang around for some time. 